What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making the Emingway Daiquiri, another iconic cocktail from Cuba. Last time I've done a cocktail from Cuba, I introduced the video by saying hola to everyone and oh boy, I heard about it. I heard about something that you shouldn't have heard, which is the H in hola. Now I know it. So hola my friends, we are traveling to Cuba today. We're gonna make the Emingway Daiquiri. If you guys are ready, let's do it. My friends, so the Hemingway Daiquiri, a cocktail created in the 1920s at La Floridita Bar in Cuba. Before being named the Hemingway Daiquiri, this cocktail was known as La Floridita No. 3, one of their riff on the classic daiquiri, the rum, lime and sugar cocktail. And Hemingway, while he was staying in Cuba, was such a big fan of that bar and that cocktail that eventually the guys at the bar named the cocktail after him. It was even known to order up to 12 Hemingway daiquiris a day, and sometimes two at a time, hence his nickname, the Papa Doble. So today, we're gonna make Papa Doble special, and here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. First, white rum. I'm using Plantation Three Stars, but if you can get Havana Club three years, that's even better. That's what the cocktail was created with. We're also gonna need maraschino liqueur, simple syrup, grapefruit juice and lime juice. So to make the cocktail, we're gonna start by pouring two ounces or 60 mils of the rum into a cocktail shaker. Then we're gonna add quarter of an ounce or 7.5 mils of maraschino liqueur. Hemingway was known to hate sugar. Some people even say that he was diabetic, which I highly doubt because there's so much sugar in alcohol that he would probably had some problem because he was drinking quite a lot. But the thing is, he probably had like a very dry or tart palate. And most of the recipes from the classic Hemingway daiquiri are, in my opinion, very unbalanced. So I tweaked the uh, specs here to make it more palatable for most of the people. And after several trials and errors of different specs, these are the ones that I feel are the best balance for this cocktail. So we're gonna add a little bit of simple syrup and a little less of maraschino liqueur than in most of the recipes, but in my opinion, it makes for a better cocktail. So we're gonna follow that with half an ounce or 15 mils of simple syrup. We're gonna add three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. and half an ounce or 15 mils of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. Now, this cocktail often calls for one full ounce or 30 mils of grapefruit juice. I feel that half an ounce is the perfect amount not to make this cocktail too juicy and still having the grapefruit taste. But we're gonna up that up just a little bit by adding one large zest of grapefruit into the cocktail shaker and then we're gonna shake the cocktail with it. That's gonna up the fragrance of the grapefruit without making, as I said, this cocktail too juicy. So now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. We're gonna fine strain it into our favorite chilled cocktail coupe. And we're gonna garnish it with a grapefruit zest that we're gonna express over the cocktail. And there we go, my friends. This is how I make my Emingway daiquiri. So now let's give it a try. Mm. This is one of my favorite riffs on the classic daiquiri. 
it is still super bright and refreshing a little more fruitiness because of the grapefruit that also adds a little bit of bitterness which i love then the sweetness in the cocktail is a little bit drier because of the maraschino that also adds a little bit of marzipan and cherry flavors it's just like a very nice and complex daiquiri and i really love it i also understand why hemingway was such a big fan of this cocktail so that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers hmm. i'm gonna stick to one a day though not 12. bye